Only grace can uproot shame. Are you ready for some good news? Christ came to bear your shame, so you don't have to. We learn from Genesis chapter 2, the man and his wife were naked and were not ashamed. That's what we know in the beginning. Shame's a lie from the pit of hell that says you don't measure up, and until you do, you can't be loved and accepted fully. It's true, we're all flawed, we've all been born in sin, but what's so devilish about shame is that it contradicts the whole message of the gospel. In Christ, you're accepted utterly, fully, freely. You don't have to measure up and prove your worth to motivate Christ to die for you. He's already died for you, even though He knew the worst about you. Christ died for the ungodly while we were still in our sin. Until the gospel of grace uproots the lies of shame, our souls are tortured with angst. For some, it leads to a life of perfectionism. For others, it leads to a life of rebellion. Either way, the soul knows no real rest. Families, schools, religions, and whole cultures have harnessed the power of shame as an attempt to manipulate or motivate people. Perhaps you grew up in a home that withheld approval, dangled it in front of you like a carrot. No matter how hard you tried, the carrot of acceptance seemed to move further and further away. And when we feel like we ought to measure up, but we know that we haven't measured up, it creates anxiety. And anxiety fuels most of our problems. When we're weary and worried, we're at our worst. The answer to shame is a liberating force of grace. The unconditional love of God it melts away the shame in our souls. Though the world might be telling you, you ought to be ashamed of yourself, or shame on you. In Christ, God has a completely different message. Shame off you. That's the gospel. That's today's daily devotional. You can get more like it by clicking right here. Better yet, subscribe to this channel and be sure and start out every day with good news. Shame off you.